What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to the first ever reveal of cinematic tools in Battlefield 1. Cinematic tools in Battlefield 1 are nifty. And I'm not talking about B plus on a test nifty. I'm talking about that hot towel after going to a Japanese restaurant nifty. So I'm gonna do my best to show you what Dice LA showed me a few weeks ago when I was on that top secret mission I was hinting at. Tabletop. When spectating in tabletop mode, you get an overview of the entire map. You can easily see flags, players, and free cam views. And if you want to switch to the perspective of anything on the map, all you have to do is highlight and click on it. Tabletop is great if you're trying to see the bigger picture of what's going on in a match, if you're trying to spectate someone in a specific location of the map, or if you're trying to get a sneak peek at that doughboy. First person. You can spectate anyone on the map in the first person point of view. So like, when do I collect my trophy for being so damn smart? Third person. We all know Battlefield 1 is a stunning game, but third person with the HUD turned off makes that even more obvious. If I'm being honest though, third person is that awkward in between of wanting to see the action from the first person point of view and wanting to enjoy the game from the most cinematic angles possible. I didn't exactly see where third person fit in, but that's okay. The 12 people who will strictly use third person will be satisfied. Director mode. Now this mode made me happy. Director mode gets the Japanese restaurant hot towel niftiness stamp of approval. I found this to be the most beautiful way to spectate soldiers, planes, horses, pretty much everything in Battlefield 1 looks better when spectating in director mode. It's kind of similar to third person, except you can orbit around whatever you're spectating. And it provides for some pretty amazing moments like this one. <laughs> yeah, how does that bayonet feel in your kidneys? God, so good at this game. Oh, free cam. If you want to turn Battlefield 1 into a World War 1 movie, then use free cam. Free cam provides you with five camera angles throughout the map, and you can easily switch between them. But they're more than just five different camera angles. Each camera's location can be changed along with the individual settings of each camera. This can allow you to create some insane scenes on the maps. Switching back and forth between cameras, panning, and even just looking at snipers looks incredible in the free cam mode. Juiciness. In addition to just having some cool angles to view Battlefield 1 with, DICE has provided some awesome new features that make the game even more gorgeous. Field of view. We all know you want to crank your field of view to 359 so you can simultaneously see everything around you while throwing up and having seizures. But if you really want to show off, lower your field of view to 15. This will get you scarily close to whatever you're spectating, and it looks really cinematic. Or you can do this. We all know you're gonna do this. Filters. Quite possibly the most unexpected feature, you can see the game in a completely different light by changing filters and tweaking their visibility. In this build, we could choose between Battlefield 3, Saturated, Tilt Shift, Noir, and Sepia. My favorite filter out of all of these was the Battlefield 3 filter. It seemed to highlight the blues and the greens with a touch of glow, and it was really awesome how much it made the Battlefield 1 maps look like Battlefield 3 maps. I really like these filters, and hopefully we'll have even more to choose from when the game's fully out. Depth of field. It's a subtle effect, but nonetheless one of the nicest looking touches you can turn on when spectating. For those that don't know, this will essentially blur the background and focus on whatever is in the foreground, creating a focus slash blur effect that most professional cameras use for making movies. And as you can see in some of these shots, it makes Battlefield 1 look incredible. Good stuff. Everything. Cinematic tools are a great addition to Battlefield 1. Bad stuff. Well, there is some funky stuff that happens every so often, but it's nothing that really ruins the spectating experience. If anything, some of the stuff that I saw in the middle of recording was hilarious, and I'm still trying to figure out how to catch this ghost. Missing stuff. Now listen up, because this is the most important part of the video. Cinematic tools are great because cinematic tools are good. <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> Cinematic tools are great, but they can be even better. The guys at DICE are awesome because they not only asked me what I liked, but also what I hated or what I think could improve the game and its features even more. I had told them I liked the cinematic tools and I didn't really have too many complaints, but I definitely felt that there were some things missing. So we'll go over that in a second. In the meantime, enjoy watching some of the guys at DICE trying to kill an upside down pilot with a sword. So there are two things that I think could drastically improve upon the existing cinematic tools in Battlefield 1. Dolly cam. In a nutshell, a dolly cam smoothly creates panning effects, following a track from point A to point B over a set amount of time. It can be relatively difficult to smoothly create panning effects by hand, and having a dolly cam could easily remedy this. And those who desire to create some really high quality videos in Battlefield 1 would greatly benefit from having a dolly cam with multiple points and variable travel times. I feel like the addition of a dolly cam is a realistic possibility, and I love to see it added in a future update. Match replay. Have you ever done something insane in a Battlefield game, but you forgot to record it, or you wanted to see it from a different perspective? Of course you have, it's Battlefield! Unfortunately, you can't go back and watch matches you just played, but I'm hopeful that a feature like 
like this could be implemented into Battlefield 1 or a future Battlefield title at some point. Being able to watch back matches is crucial, pretty much mandatory for competitive players who need to analyze matches. And it also provides a massive convenience for people who want to record and capture those mind-blowing only in Battlefield moments. The main reason I could see this not being added in later to Battlefield 1 is because it would be very resource intensive to cache every game played, especially considering the sheer scale of a typical Battlefield 1 match. Overall, I think the inclusion of one of or both of these features can only help the game more. It would ultimately give players more creative freedom, more options, and more possibilities for recording and sharing Battlefield 1 in more unique ways. Ways we have never seen from a Battlefield game before. But all in all, I want to thank DICE for giving me the privilege to test and record these features early. I want to thank them for allowing me to give them honest, critical feedback that can help improve Battlefield 1. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're excited for more Battlefield 1 videos, make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.